Merry Christmas, everybody! It is time for us to do the Christmas quest thingy, which we have been putting off for way too long. But today it will be done, and it will be glorious. To start things off, we have to talk to the old Queen of Snow, as we have seen in previous years. Look at her with her giant glowing eyes and her spiky hair. Spiky hair is not really as popular as it used to be. You're kind of out of style, Queen of Snow. Um, how's the Christmas preparation going this year? Oh, thank the elves you've arrived. It's all gone horribly wrong. What seems to be the problem? Perhaps I can help. My Santa has gone missing. It's rather out of character. He hasn't disappeared like this since... since... Well, since we had Jack, but that's not overly important. Gone missing, you say? That sounds very unlike him. I mean, for most of us, he's missing for every other day of the year anyway. Perhaps he's just had a jar too much of the good stuff. I'm sure he'll turn up soon. He's been gone for days, and just because you don't see us doesn't mean we're not busy all year. Alright, I'm sorry. Do you have any more information to go on? He's been complaining about the odd lack of children in Gilinor and how most of them are naughty. Recently, he seems obsessed with trying to f create the perfect child. He claims that little clockwork gnome has been talking to him. I think he's going a bit mad, personally. You already have a child, though. Jack, what's wrong with him? I don't think I need to answer that. Okay, so, jokes aside, what's the next step? Well, from what I remember, he said he was coming here to check on a sell offer for one of his tatty old hats to fund some crazy plan, but he's nowhere to be seen. Wait, his hat? As in Santa's very own hat? The one he's had since 2004? I'm not sure, it's very old though. He seems to think it's amusing trying to sell it for billions, but I can't understand why people would want that grotty old thing. Perhaps you can start by talking to those three over there. Orla, Aubrey, and Doc? That's right, they all claim Santa came to him before he disappeared. Oh, another thing, Rudolph is gone too. He left without the other reindeer. He rarely goes anywhere without all of them. Rarely? Well, you didn't hear this from me, but he's been known to, com to compete in various overground flying races. The carpets and gnome copters are no match for Rudolph. Seems like cheating to me. Probably, let's just say they were recently banned for lapping the Grand Vizier twice. Sounds suspicious. Did you ask them if they'd seen Santa? No one from the races has seen him for months. Right, I'll go talk to Orla, Aubrey, and Doc. Let's find out what they know. Yep, we got all that junk. Let's go. Excellent, let me know what they say. Alright, so, well, here's Doc right here. So why did Santa come to you? Well, fella, it sounds like he's taken a knock to his noggin. He came to inquire as to whether it would be possible to turn his wee clockwork toy into a real live being, you see. His clockwork gnome? Aye, I told him about the old dwarven golems that were infused with magic. Most dwarves haven't used magic in an age, except in Kando dwarfs, that is. Then what? That's it, my fella. He went on his way from there. Alright, we got some information. Aubrey, Mr. Runecrafter guy. So why did Santa come to you? <clears throat> Hello, young man. Nick Loss required the wisdom of this wizened wizard. He seems unwavering in his pursuit of granting life to that clockwork, clockwork toy of his. I told him to talk to a master smith, someone who knows the distinct attributes and peculiarities of different metals. A smith? Hmm. He may well learn more about what can and can't be achieved. It wouldn't be the first time metal has been given at least a form of life. I guess that does make sense. I'm afraid that's all I know. And then the divination lady. So why did Santa come to you? Hello, my dear. We study anima, memories, balance, and life force. He wanted to know of a way to put the anima into the inanimate. What? Breathe life into lifeless. Just to plan words, my dear. So, this is about the clockwork gnome, isn't it? That it is. 
I told him divination probably isn't the answer and that perhaps he should find someone who can imbue things with magical properties. Right, thanks, I think. I'm sorry I can't be of more use. Alright, Queen of Snow. What did they say? It seems as though Santa wants to turn his clockwork gnome into a real boy. Oh, Nick, what are you up to now? Doc told Santa that dwarfs used to infuse their mechanical golems with a form of life, but dwarfs can't use magic anymore, except for in Camdo dwarfs, that is. Santa also went to Aubrey, and Aubrey told him to find a remarkable smith, someone who really knows about the properties of different metals. Finally, Orla told Santa it'd be a good idea asking someone who can imbue or upgrade things with magical properties. I see. So we just need to find an Incamdo Dwarf Mastersmith who knows how to imbue things with magical properties. Thurgo. Thurgo? Thurgo meets all the criteria with startling accuracy. He lives in a hut south of Port Sarum. I'll go talk to him. Bring a red berry pie, just in case. Yes, I will. Alright, so off we go to Thurgo once again. He's a very popular guy. This crazy machine power generator. That's just from the invention, isn't it? Just copy paste it, I think. I don't know. Apparently, these little training methods they've got as a reward can give you uh, scaling pets, which makes it a good way to get them in. A, I don't know what skills they are, but. I think smithing might be one of them, so it would be a good way to get the smithing one without spending money. Who knows? I know rune crafting is one, but it's not worth it because rune span is so easy. Alright, Thurgo, where are you hiding? Because you're always hiding. There you are. Okay, talk about Santa. I'm looking for Santa. Has he been by here? Maybe. Who wants to know? Wait, is that red berry pie I smell? It sure is. If I give you this pie, will you tell me about Santa? I never say no to a red berry pie. They're great stuff. Right, old Nicklaus wanted to know if there was a way to upgrade his clockwork gnome buddy. And is there? I have no idea. I simply told him of a method that may work. And what method is that? I told him to hold the gnome in front of the Black Dragon Queen's flame breath, of course. What? It works for royal crossbows, at least. Oh my. Okay, I need to go rescue them, and fast. You can find the entrance to our lair by some white knights just west of Port Serum. Alright. He's trying to murder Santa. Not very nice, is it? Alright, so hopefully this isn't crazy in some way. Dangerous or something. Um, if you're curious, this is what my levels are currently at. I don't think much has changed since the last episode. I know I did gain a runecrafting level for sure. Because I was working on the other real outfit. I did get the full uh, sous chef outfit as well. Okay, so how do we do this? Do we just enter and it'll give us an option or something? Like, what's going to happen here? Ah, here we go. Okay. Right. We can't rotate the camera. And that texture just came in. Okay. Still can't. Oh well. Let's investigate. Um. Oh. Huh. Rudolph's ashes. Well, that's no good. Rudolph died. Hello. Hello, friend. I think I got eaten. Ah, Kebab, you found us. Us? Who else is in here? Oh, I guess it's Clockwork Gnome. You do realize you're in the belly of a great beast, right? This is crazy. Let's get out of here. My sentiments exactly. Are Rudolph and my sleigh still outside? Your sleigh is... Hmm? Get me out of this thing. Hurry! Whoa. Well, that was easy. Oh, no! Rudolph? 
I am such a fool. Rudolph, my friend, I'm so sorry. Did we just... Huh. Okay. Kebab, we should get moving. Could you please gather up Rudolph's ashes? I'll see if this thing can still get us out of here. Of course. Thank you. Alright, let's gather these ashes. Let's go before she regains consciousness. That would have been an ultimate time to just kill the Queen Black Dragon when she's not conscious. Get some drops. I very much appreciate you rescuing us, Kebab. It's not a problem. What are you going to do now? Doc, Orla, and Aubrey have each come up with other ways to give life to our clockwork gnome, Nick. Is that so? Might have been nice to think of these ideas before I went into a dragon's lair. Let's hear the ideas. I'll go talk to them. Because nobody can do anything for themselves in this world. So I've been musing on the problems at hand, and I think it may be possible if we harness a large amount of magic energy to spark some life into that little clockwork gentleman. Aubrey, what do you propose? Is that what this magical-looking rift thing is for? Quite right. Let the adventurers charge it up a bit and we'll give it a go. That means me, right? What do I need to do? I need you to remember these details. Anomalies will appear. They will destabilize the energy source. This is not good. You can seal anomalies while continuing to channel the rift, as long as you concentrate. I need you to demonstrate your ability to seal 15 anomalies without breaking your concentration on the rift. To the rift. Have you got all that? I think so. Anomalies are bad. Um, I can seal anomalies while doing the thing. I need to seal 15 anomalies. Very astute. Go ahead and channel the rift, please. Alright. Oh wow, I'm doing it from all the way over here, huh? Where are these, uh, rift bobs? Zapped at 100% before Rift appears or something. As if so, that's going to take a while. Excellent, now try to seal 15 anomalies for me. You powered up the Rift, so they should start appearing when you channel it now. Okay. I get it. I'm going to get a little closer, though. Because being too far could break your concentration. Oh gosh, let's right-click for that. This is going to take a little while, I assume. This is just the training method. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just the thing is that training runecrafting isn't that bad already, so having a AFK method doesn't really improve it that much. It doesn't cost any money to do the rune span, and it's easy. Four out of fifteen done. There we go. Seal anomaly. Probably should have done this event earlier so that I could do. I assume this is probably the smithing experience here. What's the other one over there? A divination, probably. Yeah, divination would be another one where it just doesn't really make much sense. Not a oh, hard skill to train, but I guess true AFKness is appealing. Just set a five minute timer and you never have to click again. Because I think how it works is that each one will have a thing that you can do to boost your experience, but you don't have to do. Which is kind of how they want to move in the whole training department in RuneScape anyway. Where paying attention gives you slightly higher experience rates. But all skills, or at least most skills, would also have AFK methods. What is this music doing in the background? I can barely hear it over all this noise, but it's sounding crazy. I wonder if you break concentration, would it make you restart from one? Because that'd be really annoying. Come on, spawn them so I can finish this crap. Seal. Okay, you've got a knack for that. What now? We're going to need rune essence for attunement purposes. Either tin, pure, or regular will work. I assume you're capable of obtaining some? I have some right here. Grand, let's try this.
Okay, time to give this little gnome life. Uh-oh. That doesn't look particularly nice. Huh. Perhaps I miscalculated the parameters. Please notify Santa of the details. What details? It didn't work? Well, that didn't work. Who's next? <laughs> yeah, that was really notifying, huh? Right, well, I've been thinking about it since Santa first came to me. I have an idea that might jolt that wee clockwork fella into the land of the living. Doc, what do you propose? What do you plan on doing with that machine? It's going to generate a massive amount of power, far more than any other generator has before. Is that a good idea? You're right, it is an idea. You look a little shocked, huh? I know it's dangerous. Pushing boundaries usually is. Okay, so what do you need me to do? First, we're going to need 100 units of pale energy as a basic catalyst. Can you get us some, fella? I have some right here. Well, well, let's give this a go then. You'll need to maintain the machine while it charges up, though. So I need to keep the generator from falling apart. We need to see whether you can handle it while I've got the power down a little. After that, we'll push the power right up, see if we can zap a little life into our clockwork friend here. Alright, well, let's just do this, I guess. That'll probably work. Okay, so we're repairing it first, I guess. Oh, it's crafting experience. Hmm. Even better than smithing, I guess. You no, know, it looks and sounds like smithing. So from what I've heard from this one, there'll be like a left and right situation. Not too shabby. The generator is now set to overcharge. This is the fun part. You'll need to fix the machine via the control panel should it start to smoke. Should it start to smoke? Fine, when it starts to smoke. I need to be sure you can handle it while, the mo while I monitor the power output. Keep repairing it and you'll eventually see the panel start to smoke. Just be careful. Go. Okay. I just gotta wait until the panel starts to smoke, I guess. Oh, zippy zappy. And the electricity leaves shadows, because that's how it works. Um, it'll start smoking eventually, I guess. Either way, I'm getting free crafting experience, which is nice. I don't mind it. I want to get my crafting up. What crafting level are we right now? 87? Yeah. Okay. Good work, fella. What now? Time to test the damn thing. Okay, I'll get the clockwork gnome. No, no, no. Huh? We're going to test it on you first, pal. Chapter 11 in the Invention Guidebook. Guthix save me. Okay, fine, let's do this. I guess it's the other one that has left and right then. Hmm. You ready in there, Kebab? Yep, I think. Zippy zappy. How was it? Seems safe enough to me. Textures are all crazy. Seems that we're good to go then. Um, yes. Happy to proceed? I think so. I was asking our clockwork friend. Happy. That is some weird electricity particles there. Did it work? It seems not. I'm not sure what they think that would have done, really. How do you feel, little clockwork fella? I am fine. It didn't work. We tried, unfortunately, to no avail this time. Did I think it just like magically make him not clockwork just from zapping him? I don't know. Okay, I had an idea while you were rescuing Santa. Wonderful job, by the way. 
I believe I know of a way to transfer some life into this little clockwork friend. Did I hear that correctly, Orla? Yes, indeed. It's a completely experimental, of course. What's new? Okay, so what do you need me to do? I've organized a rather unorthodox trade. I need you to bring me a dozen raw lobsters. I have some right here. Wonderful. Keep them. I need you to trade them with a gentleman in the Caribbean Desert. Okay, where is this trade exactly? I told him to meet you east of Alcarid upon the Strikeworm Plateau. He should be waiting there eagerly. Lobsters are a delicacy in Minifos, don't you know? You've made a deal, trade deal with a Minifite smuggler? Again, not the weirdest thing ever, I guess. Needs must, my dear. Okay, so we go down to Al Karid real quick. Here we go. I guess this is the one that has left and right, then. Who knows? We'll find out when we do it, I, I guess. Oh, someone's training it over there. It's a really long distance. Jeez. Alright, so we gotta head on over to the Desert Strike Worm Plateau. Is a nice little place. Where is he? Do you see him? I don't see him. He's Strike Worm. Aha! I think. Yes. I? Yes, Adventurer? Did our mutual acquaintance send you? Orla? Yes. I guess anonymity is off the table then, amateurs. Do you have the merchandise? The lobsters? Yes, is this your first time participating in a shady deal or something? No, Orla just didn't tell me much about it. I take the merchandise, you take the obelisk. No problem. Wait. How am I supposed to bring that obelisk back? All done, Kebab. We'll teleport you and the obelisk back now if you're ready. Yes. I'm um, sure. Go for it. We. There we go. Now we have a modified soul obelisk here. Interesting. Okay, well now we have a soul obelisk. Quite right. These things have been a menace to the Minifites. After a bit of research on their effects, it seems that they siphon the soul energy of those around them. You've just teleported a soul siphon to Varrock? What a marvelous holiday gift to the people. Merry Christmas, King Roald, here. Have your soul eaten by a giant evil stone block from the desert. Happy holiday, citizens. We're gonna... Citizens? We're gonna suck the soul straight out of winter solstice. Yes, well, not to worry. This one has been mostly deactivated and will only work when channeled directly. Ah. Time to channel the obelisk, Kebab. Keep your energy balanced for both your safety and for maximum effect. Okay, let's do this. Right. They say use the arrow keys rather than clicking on the thing for more precise control. This is a bit annoying. And it's just for divination experience, so it's not even particularly special. Yeah, definitely crafting is the one winning out here as far as training goes. There is a configure option though, maybe you can choose between two skills or something on some of them. That should be enough, how do you feel? Yes. You feel yes? Okay, sure, you'll live my dear. My dear? Not my deal. <laughs> now what? We, we just did that. Nothing gonna happen? It appears that we're ready to try this. Let's get your donation into that clock, clockwork gnome. Can't talk. Okay, little gnome friend. Look at that zippy zappiness. Oh, rubbish. I really thought that would work. Okay. Hmm, it doesn't appear to have worked. A dear shame, but a lot learned, I feel. Feel stupider. Wait, what are you implying? 
Ah ha ha. Ho 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 ho. Well, we tried. Unfortunately, no to no avail this time. I don't I don't get what they're trying to do here. The thing's clearly already alive. Thank you all for trying. Perhaps it is best we give up. We've already lost Rudolph in this foolish plot. Poor Rudolph. So what actually happened to Rudolph? We were searching for a way to give life to my clockwork toy, and Rudolph lost his life in the process. Oh no, Nick. Oh, that's... I know. What will you do with his ashes? Speaking of which, at the risk of creating more hope, may I suggest one more experiment to try? Is now really the time, Aubrey? Well, yes, genuinely, but not for the clockwork gnome this time. For Rudolph. What do you suggest? I assume you're all aware of the phoenix, a magical creature near immortal, able to grant itself life from its own ashes? What are you saying? I think we should take Rudolph's ashes to the phoenix lair. I think the clockwork gnome should come too. I'm not sure of the point anymore. What do you say, Kebab? It could be worth a shot. We've come this far. The rift has huge amounts of power left over from everyone charging it. I can recalibrate it to send us straight to the phoenix lair. All right, let's try it. Talk to me when you're ready to go. Shall we go to the Phoenix Lair then, Kebab? Yes. I don't remember if we've done this yet. I don't think we have. Hello, Phoenix friend. Now what? Talk to it? Hello there. Hello. 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 And goodbye. No, wait, we need your help. Oh, who is this? Red clothes? A huge white beard? Santa? Is that you? Why, yes. Would you be able to help poor Rudolph? Well, since it's the bringer of joy, I'm not sure I can refuse what seems to be the problem. You see, he's experiencing a slight case of burnt to ash. White. Oh dear, this is very upsetting. Is there anything you can do? Hmm, Rudolph is a being of magic. He is currently in the perfect state for the ritual of rebirth. Maybe, maybe I can help. Please, it doesn't matter how small the yards are. Please try. Dabran Kananem. Oh? Whoa. That is surely Rudolph, huh? Thank you. Oh, Rudolph, are you feeling all right? Wee. Well, he can fly, that's for sure. Look at that little flying guy. Let me get a good look. Dang it. I wanted to get a good look at him. Very fiery. Are those wings? Flaming wings, is that normal? I'm as surprised as you are. The magical essences of the phoenix and of this wonderful little creature are now entwined and combined. Perhaps this is a physical manifestation of the union of the two. Aren't you forgetting something else? Oh yes, my friend here is feeling a little mechanical. Hello. Hello. Let's not start with that again. As one final request, would you be able to breathe life into this clockwork gnome? Make him more real, perhaps? Real? Like a real gnome. Hmm, that is a real conundrum. I have seen Phoenix Magic do such a thing, but theoretically... Great, let's give it a go, then. Well, okay, alas, he will have to be doused in Phoenix Fire as well. It will be... hot? Don't worry, it's a nice fire made from the magic of our friend here. It just helped Rudolph. You'll be safe. And the melting point of steel is actually pretty high. Did they seriously go there? Wow. What was that? Oh, nothing. That is not a joke I expected to see in RuneScape, to be honest. Dabran Kananim! Ah! <laughs> Fuckwork, are you okay? I'm sorry, did that hurt? No, I was just surprised. Am I a real gnome? I'm sorry, my little friend. It's beginning to seem as though it's not possible. 
Oh. I'm sorry, I hoped it would work, but I've never tried to do anything like that before. Nonsense, you've done so much for me already. I'll be sure to make a special stop-off to give you a present for being such a good little... Girl. Girl, of course. Well, we had better get going. Come on, Rudolph. I'm sure the other reindeer will want to see you. Goodbye and thank you. Okay, this is quite long, actually. Jeez. I'm glad we got Rudolph back, but it seems we'll have to abandon our quest. We've tried everything um, to turn my little mechanical friend into a real gnome. While you were away, we've been thinking. All our ideas were good, but perhaps not good enough. What are, su what are you suggesting? Perhaps individually our methods were insufficient, but we could try doing them simultaneously. Hmm, it's worth a shot. What do you say? What do you... Why am I putting a what in there? Do you think so, little guy? Oh, boy. All right. Right, we'll start with the rift first. Now, Doc, turn on the machine. right -o. Orla, start powering the obelisk. Yes, better you than me. Yes, kebab. Um, there we go. I feel strange. Ah! Ah! What is, what is this feeling? So we've made a gnome child, huh? That couldn't have bad consequences at all. Wow, this is incredible. Look at my skin. I have skin. How do you feel? Marvelous, daring, terrified, energetic, tired, tranquil, excited, hopeful, cautious. I have no idea. I need to get a hold of in all these feelings. They're, they're overwhelming. Oh, I'm rather envious of you right now. Thank you so much for all of your help. That's it, huh? Honestly, I'm going to be disappointed if he doesn't become a permanent character in the game. Amazing, how are you feeling, little guy? Whoa, I can feel everything. The wind, the sun, the snow beneath my feet. That's great, buddy. Thank you, everyone, for helping me. Yes, thank you, Kebab. You really saved the day. And it looks like Rudolph wants to stick with you, pal. Take care of him for us. All right. Black and white Christmas snowboards, full access to the skilling activities. Yeah, if they don't put him over in the gnome lands somewhere, I'm going to be very sad. Because RuneScape really doesn't have that many kids. All right, so we have the snowboard here, and it can transform, apparently. We can do a trick, but you have to unsheath it, apparently, to do that. So what's the point in having a right-click trick option? You can't do it half the time. Oh, well, anyway, let's unsheath it, which is here. Oh. Okay. Now we do a trick. Whee! Is it just the same trick over and over? No, it's not. Is it just two tricks over and over? It is. Okay, well, that's a thing there. All right, and of course we got Rudolph, which we can now take a better look at if I can get to the pet interface, which I can. All right, is he a companion pet? Yep, he definitely is. Lushan? Oh yeah, he's the guy from that. Okay, let's call. Hello, little friend. You are actually look more like, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like a Pudu or something from South America. Looks more like that than a reindeer. We he can fly. Look at him go. I think it would have been more interesting if the explanation was that all the magical reindeer have wings. They're just invisible normally. Oh, whoops. I accidentally the emote again. I was going to talk to him. But the phoenix magic, like, made his wings visible. That would have been my explanation. I have no idea what's happening. This is the best day ever. I like you. 
Okay. Where are the other reindeer? Are they all this small? I don't think they are. I think he's just tiny, because he's reborn. I think the phoenix is reborn younger too, right? I have no idea. Oh well. But anyway, yeah, that is the Christmas Christmas event. So now we can go ahead and do this thing. What did we configure? Oh, see, you can choose between smithing and crafting. I would probably choose smithing over crafting, just because we're already 90. What, what can this one be? Green crafting. Oh, summoning. Summoning. Oh. Oh, summoning. <laughs> and what is this one? Divination and prayer. Well, I mean, the choices is obvious there. Prayer. But I wouldn't do that because I can get probably much better prayer experience from the uh, one thing of a bob. So what's the XP rate like for this? We're getting 42 per XP drop, but that's bonus experience included, of which I have not much, but I could get a level. And I could click on these to get little boost of experience as well. Hmm. And what about for smithing, then? Summoning is the very tempting one, then, though, just for the pet chance. I guess, yeah, that would be the point, is to get the prayer pet from that, instead of burying bones, which would be tiresome. Okay, I, I forgot to change it over, so we're still getting crafting there. Okay, how much smithing we get? Ooh, a very good amount, because I'm a higher level, probably, mostly. Yeah, I could see myself doing this for a little bit. I don't know when they're removing this event. It might be for the first update in January, I don't know. And what does this do? Oh, camera changes for this. Oh, wow, that's a surprising amount of experience, honestly. For prayer. Hmm. If uh, free-to-play players can do this, this would be a very good way to train prayer for free play. I have to look into that. Um, but yeah, that is the Christmas event done. I mean, there's the other things going on. You know, we did the advent calendar, which I did get a piece of the blacksmith outfit, the blacksmith top, I think, from the, uh, the thing that I had been saving. So that's very lucky, because I really wanted that outfit piece. Um, what else? I've been working a little bit on the old, um, other real outfit, but still don't have even a full piece of one of the minor ones on that. Takes a little bit of time. Very bad luck on that. Um, still working on Cooking 99, haven't worked on it much lately, but uh, starting today it will be my new focus, at least for a few days, definitely get it up to 90 pretty fast. Hopefully it's not too much of a trouble to get 13 levels in uh, what amounts to less than a week, but uh, that's my goal and I'm sticking to it. And other than that, you know, we'll be doing whatever comes our way. I have not yet decided if I consider this Christmas event to be a quest or not in terms of our quest no quest thing. So I don't know if we'll be doing a quest ne next episode or not. We'll just have to wait and find out whenever it happens, because no idea. But anyway, I will see you guys later.